Right guys, here's my table for Conflict 47, my first game. I am going to be using the Bolt Action Firefight uh, Skirmish Rules so I can play smaller point forces, obviously. Uh, being new to the game, I don't have as many figures as I'd like, but you know, that's not going to stop me from playing the game. Uh, so in this scenario, we will be playing uh, Scenario 5 Top Secret. There, uh, Both forces are going to be trying to get the objective at the middle of the board. I'm gonna only play four turns because again, this is a learning game for me in terms of uh, Conflict 47. There are rules that are interchangeable between bolt action and Conflict 47, but uh, there are a few different, uh, few key differences. But anyway, let's go on to the forces. On the German side, we have a first lieutenant and bodyguard veteran, and then we have a veteran six-man squad of Wehrmacht heavy infantry. On the Soviet side, we have a veteran uh, first lieutenant and his two bodyguards. And then we have a regular uh, section of Soviet Ursus infantry. So obviously big disparity uh, in the number of figures as well as the Germans being the ranged option compared to the Soviets uh, close combat option. We'll see how that works out. Again, my first game using bolt action uh, firefight as the basis for the this particular scenario. Uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll go to the top of turn one. All right, here we go at the top of turn one. So this is going to be an interesting scenario with top secret. Both forces are trying to get this objective marker off their side of the board. Uh, you have to be within, you have to be in contact with it in order to be able to pick it up and then kind of try to start running it off the board. Uh, two different kinds of forces. We have the ranged force here with the German Germans, and then we have more of a close combat uh, force on the Soviet side. The Soviets are at a disadvantage because of their lower quantity of models, but the Soviet, the Soviet Ursus infantry are quite tough once they get into close combat. So we'll see if they can get there. Obviously, they'll have support with their ranged uh, heavy Mark II armored uh, compatriots there. So we're going to go ahead and pick the first order. It is uh, German. So I think at this point, what I'm not going to do is kind of group them all together and kind of rush them out. I am going to uh, do this piecemeal. Uh, the power armored uh, units, both on the Soviet and the German side, are have the uh, keyword slow. So that means it halves their, I think it halves their movement. So it says here the base move of is four inches and a run of eight. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the NCO of the heavy Wehrmacht troop. We're going to have him run onto the board eight inches from the edge to right there. Okay, and then we're going to go on to the next order. It is also German. Uh, we're going to have another uh, Wehrmacht heavy infantry run onto the board at eight to there. Next order, <laughs> again, it's German, uh, same order. I'm just gonna run. We'll get one of the Wehrmacht heavy infantry up as well. Another one to there. Okay, let's see if we can mix it up a little bit and maybe get a Soviet order die. It is German, and again, we're just copying what we got here. Eight from the board, end of board there. Next order. <laughs> Almost as if I have only German die in there. So again, we're going to run edge of the board and we'll put them right there. All right, here we go. Hopefully some Soviet action this time around. Nope, German once again. We'll do the final Wehrmacht infantry guy with the run. Okay, <laughs> next order. German once again. Um, okay, so we're gonna have the lieutenant run up. He is normal, so he'll get the 12 inch run to there. We are gonna play pretty aggressive to try to get that objective off the board. We finally get Soviets, so we're gonna do a run. Um, again, the Harvard armor guys are right, quite slow, but I think Ursus Infantry do not have the slow keyword, so they can run normal. We're going to start getting them up the board. 
I'll start off at the road here and bring this guy over there. And then we will get another order die. It's Soviets. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run up the board to right there because we want them to be able to do some damage on the Germans. Okay. The last, uh, the last German die, the bodyguard is gonna go up to there. And then we'll get next order die. This should all be Soviets now. So I'm actually gonna pull all of them out and we will do what we need to do. So again, Ursus infantry, we'll bring them up to there. That'll be a run. And then we're just gonna start running everybody off from the edge here. So eight to there. We'll move these guys with him. And So I'm going to have a problem here on the Soviet side because obviously the Germans are going to get to that objective soon. Hopefully in turn two, uh, the Soviets will get a couple actions in first and then we'll go from there. So we're going to, we are done with turn one. It was all just maneuvering. We're going to go to turn two. All right, top of turn two, your first order is the Soviets. So again, I think we'll run one of the Ursus troop up. Probably to there. Still won't stop uh, those guys from grabbing it, but I think now they're under pressure because you got a big dude sitting right at the corner. Next order, it's the Germans. So I don't think we're going to rush the lieutenant there. We would hate to have to lose him. We will, however, advance one of the Wehrmacht infantry. So we will go four to there. And then he's got an assault rifle. So that's 18 inches. At 14, so that'll be long range. So um, the Ursus Infantry have quite a few uh, keywords here, so I'm just kind of re reading through. Okay, so um, the two keywords I want to look for are resilient and tough infantry. So I'm going to make my rolls, and then I'm going to see how those two keywords affect the roll. He's going to be shooting at a long distance, so that's minus one. No cover, obviously, because he's right there. And he does get two shots. So. We need four ups, we got one. And so the damage value resilient is six up. So I need a six up and I get it. So, okay, so uh, I'm a little do with this. I did hit with a six up. I'm gonna use tough infantry. So it says an infantry unit with tough special roll, rolls a D6 every time an opponent rolls equal or over its damage value, which it did and the damage is ignored on a five up. So I'm gonna need a five up and nope. Does that mean that the Soviet Earth's infantry is dead? I think it does. I think that's first kill. So um, if that's wrong, let me know in the comments below. Cause again, um, I'm used to just normal humans in bolt action and <laughs> obviously supernatural forces are a little tough, uh, but if he did get killed, that's one order dying off of the Soviet side. That's, that's kind of a devastating blow since they only have six. All right, we'll go to the next uh, order. It is Germans. So we will, I think we are going to run the, I think this is going to be a bad deal for the uh, Soviets because I will, I'm going to extend the gameplay. I'm going to, I'm going to run um, the Wehrmacht guy 
up here. I don't really want this game to be over too quickly because the Soviets are going to have a hard time getting up here since they have to run. All right, it's the Germans on the next order. We're also going to do the run. To there. Next order, hopefully it's Soviets. It is. So uh, the Soviets also have assault rifles, so that would be 18 inch. I'm gonna see if I can advance one of my guys here. You know, in fact, I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna be able to, okay, I'm just gonna have to run the Soviet Ursus Infantry. I'm gonna go 12 to there. So at least he gets a little bit of cover. Okay, um, so next order, it is Germans. We are going to run another heavy infantry up to here. And then the next order, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit here. We have Germans again, and we're running eight inches up the board. The Germans are surprisingly very good this game. So, okay. Soviets, Soviets, come on. Got the Soviets. We're going to have the Ursus Infantry run to there. All right. Next up, Soviets. So again, we're running. We just need to get up the board at this point. To there. Next order, Germans. Um, I think we'll have the bodyguard advance and he will go six into the ruins here there he's gonna shoot at that soviet ursus infantry right there he's got one shot he did advance so that's minus one behind heavy cover hard cover that's minus two so that's six up nope that's miss next order Germans, this is the lieutenant. I I don't like that these guys are up here, so I'm actually just going to advance them to there. But he's not going to fire or anything like that. And then the last two are going to be the Soviets. So I'm going to have them come up. They're going to run in the heavy cover right here. We'll just put them down as run. And then that is it for turn two. We're gonna to go to turn three. I think now we're gonna see uh, more action, a lot more shooting. It kind of sucks that they lost one uh, heavy infantry on the Soviet uh, Ursus side, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Got a lucky shot. All right, we're gonna to go to the top of turn three. All right, top of turn three. Let's see who gets to go first. Germans, once again. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. I think we will advance. We're going to advance this guy here. So he gets up four. So right there. And then we'll see if we can shoot. We're gonna shoot at, uh, yep, this guy here. So let's see, I think it's 16, it's 14. Still long range, so minus one. 
uh, for advanced, minus one for long range. He gets two shots. That is a five up. We got both of them. That's a five up. We got one. And then all they have, oh, these guys are resilient and tough. So damage value of six up when fired upon. And then the tough infantry. So we need a six up. We don't get it. So that's a miss. All right, next order. We have Soviets. I'm gonna, I'm going to have the Lieutenant and this guy do a group fire on this guy. I'm gonna pull both our orders. We're just gonna do fire. Right there. They have assault rifles. Um, soft cover, so they are a little bit obscured. They're at 13, so it's still long range. They get four shots. And this guy has has a resilience of damage of six up. So got four shots. We need four ups. About three of them. And then we need six ups because of resilient. And we got one. So this guy's gone. All right. So we are doing something now. Okay, next order. It's Soviet, so I think it's time. It is time to start some trouble here. So we're gonna actually advance. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna advance this bodyguard here. He's gonna move up his four to there. So we'll do an advance. He's gonna shoot. You know what? I I've been putting that minus one for um, for advancing and really all the heavy Wehrmacht and these Mark II armored guys have assault rifles, so they don't get that penalty. I messed it up, so we'll uh, scratch that and then just moving forward, do the correct correct uh, dice roll. So he advanced up. He's going to shoot at the bodyguard here. It is at long range, so minus one. Uh, that's four up. Got two shots. We got one. And then uh, he's just a regular dude. Actually, he's a veteran. So I need a five up to... Is he a veteran? Yes. I need a five up to kill him. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> if uh, this was no regular bolt action, that would have been exceptional. I could choose. So the bodyguard is gone. We are going to remove one German and die from the bag. And then we're going to go to the next order. It's German this time. Okay. So we need to we need to start doing some stuff. I'm actually going to have mm, bummer. If um, my NCO was closer, I could have ordered these guys to move up as one unit. So we're not going to do that. I will, however, advance this guy up here. So he'll go four to there, and then he will shoot at the Mark II armor dude. He's at 15. He gets two shots. Uh, so I need the long distance, so it's four up. I got it. Got one. And then he is resilient, so I need a six up. Nope. And then he also has tough infantry. So I guess I roll another d6. Uh, again, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know in the comments below. And uh, he survives. So this guy doesn't uh, get killed. So it's, it's ignored on a five up, I got a six up, so. Okay, next order. Germans. We are I'm gonna start moving up. We're gonna advance this dude to there. We're gonna fire at this Ursus infantry there. Uh, two shots. So uh, four up because, no, five up because of heavy cover, hard cover. We got one. 
And then we need a six up. We got it, but uh, we got tough infantry. Roll it. Nope. So this guy's dead. All right, since the Soviet Ursus infantry is more than half destroyed, I think I'm gonna have to roll morale. They are regular, so uh, again, if I'm doing this wrong, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna roll for his morale. So they are regular. I need to get a nine or below. Oh, okay, so according to the play sheet, because I rolled two sixes, now I have to roll to see what happens on the foobar chart. So because I rolled a foobar, because I rolled a foobar, I gotta roll on the chart now, so we're gonna roll. It is a four, and it panics. The unit executes a run order and must move as fast as possible away from the closest visible enemy. Wow, that sucks. So I gotta pull his order. He's gonna run away from this guy. So that's actually 12 to there. That uh, kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next order. It's uh, pretty much all Germans at this point. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull all the German die out. One, two, three, four. We're gonna have the Lieutenant come up to, you know what? We're gonna have the NCO run to there. And next turn we will pick up the artifact or whatever it is that we are seeking. We are then going to advance. We are going, we want to cover this guy. So we're going to run the last two guys to there. Like that. So everyone ran, except for the lieutenant. I'm gonna have him go down, because obviously we don't want him to die. And then that is it for turn three. I am going to uh, finish up the game of turn four. We'll be back at the top of turn four. All right, here we are at the top of turn four. This is gonna be the last turn for the game. This is moving pretty quick. Um, so we had the Ursus Infantry guy, the lone survivor of that unit, panicking and running off. We have two of the Mark II armored guys, the NCO, or the Lieutenant and his bodyguard right there, the other bodyguard there. We've lost two figures on each side, but for the Soviets, this was a lot more devastating than for the Germans. We are now going into the final turn. We'll see if the Germans can get the artifact off the board. So first order, it's Germans. We're gonna have this guy Pick up the artifact, the NCO, and he's going to run. And I don't think um, the Soviets are going to be able to stop him. So, and he's slow. So, he's got the artifact. He's right there. He's going to try to run off the board. Um, probably not going to. If we go to a turn, if we went to a turn five, he would be able to run off the board. But at this point, we got to see. Okay, so next order is Soviets. We're gonna be aggressive. Yep, okay, so we're gonna advance the Mark II guy to here. And he's gonna take a shot at the front dude right there. So that's two shots at this point. It is at six inches, so that's short distance. No modifier, so that's three up. We got one. Um, and then the resilience, so I need a six up. I get it. Wow. So that guy's down. Nice. Okay, next order. It is Germans. We're going to fire back. Where is it? Fire. This guy's gonna fire at that guy. So it gets two shots, uh, probably seven inches, so still short range, yep. Uh, so just three up, got one. Need uh, six up. 
six up because of resilient. Nope, let's miss. Okay, next order. It's Germans. This guy. We're gonna have him advance. Just so you guys line of sight. Can you technically shoot through your dudes? Can you guys comment that below? Okay, two shots. Advanced. No negative modifier on that. He is at eight, so short distance. We get two shots. We need three. We need three up. Got one. We need six up. Nope, that's a miss. All right. Um, next one. So it's. NCO is going to order the other guy. Hmm, can I? Yeah, we might as well. We're going to advance. Wow, I put myself in a pickle. All right, we're going to advance. Get to there. They're gonna take a shot at this guy right here, hardcover. So that's gonna be five up. We get four shots. We get one. So we need six up because of resilient. Nope, it's a miss. <laughs> okay, next order. Let's see if we can kill some more. Um, okay, we're going to advance this guy right here. And there. Taking two shots at the bodyguard. We need, uh, we are eight and a half inches, so short range. We need three ups. Got them both. Need six ups. Nope. And then finally, we have Soviet, the Russian infantry. It's gonna to be too late for him to get back into the fight, but he will he will run to here. And then last order of the game, German is the lieutenant. Um, he's just gonna go down. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, inconclusive, because the only way to win this scenario is to have one of the sides run off with this artifact. Um, I only played a short game because I'm still kind of learning the rules for uh, Conflict 47. Obviously the keywords are a little bit different and uh, the abilities are different. So uh, if I got stuff wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I will be hopefully playing a fuller version of Conflict 47, not a firefight, uh, as I complete more Soviet units. I got a lot of German stuff, so that's not gonna be a big deal. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you like this video, go ahead and click like if you haven't subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new Conflict 47 coming out of the channel. And then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That'll be the best way I can personally interact with you and chit chat to you about Conflict 47 and any other games that I cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Conflict 47 Firefight Battle Reports coming out of Wargaming New Historical.